what's going on, everybody? How you doing, Chad? Doing freaking awesome, man. Stoked to talk to you tonight. We had a good time the other day. I know. I feel like I just saw you. That's crazy, right? <laughs> right? So, yeah, this call, this year's cop definitely was something. I mean, I don't know. I almost felt like there was, like, a bigger turnout, like a bigger crowd. I was definitely bummed that JR couldn't make it, but, you know, he's got to take care of himself. He's got his situations going on right now. But, man, we had a I'm, – I'm still recovering. <laughs> you still know, recovering. Yeah. Me too. That was that was an intense day of um, you know a lot of flavors to get down and a lot of friends who had some wonderful things to try. You being one of them, but yeah, man, DG that, that the DGC Cup twenty twenty four was awesome. Shout out to the uh, the JR token right there. Oh, you got the real JR token right there. Yeah, the real JR token from the cup. Oh, that's awesome, man. So, yeah, uh, just to kind of fill everybody in, I guess, on what we got going on today, uh, we kind of did, like, the 2024 House of Cortez DGC Cup takeover. Uh, we were doing wings. We were doing edibles. We were doing infused cocktails. Now, Chad is one of the people that definitely got to go ahead and try out what we had to offer. So we actually have the clips of Chad trying everything, and we're going to go ahead and kind of react to those today. All right, do you want to get into the first clip then? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Take a look at what we got here. <laughs> hey. some wings? Yeah, get, get them in on the wings. What's going on, Chaz Westport? We found you. I found Chaz in the wild. Hey, Chaz, this is a moment all about your honor. I got some chicken wings for you, sir. Yeah, the sauce on the side is medicated, though. Can we get you to try some of those out, Chaz? Would you mind if we got a testimonial yeah, we went on the wings? Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to get everybody to try them. All right. Are they infused? Are they spicy? So they're, they're not too spicy. They they are a sriracha honey mango. Okay. The infusion is on the side, so you can kind of dose yourself. All right. I'm gonna try just a little piece. Yeah, just just a little piece. Just. Just a taste test, really. But here, get get in there and get you some of the sauce. Yep. All right, thank, thank you. There's a table back there. This freaking smells good, man. Go, go ahead and try it, dude. So the the wings don't have any weed on them. It's just in the uh, sauce. Just in the sauce. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. So I got to know, man, cool. when I just kind of pulled up on you, I got the camera out, I'm kind of being like a creeper. I'm like, here, take some wings. No, eat them. Come on. <laughs> like, what, what was your initial? And I called you Chaz like three times. I don't know why I did that. But <laughs> must, it must have been the microphone. There's fuzz, fuzz on the microphone. Something. <laughs> right? Yeah. My, my dude, my initial reaction was like, oh, sweet, Cortez, what's up? And then I was like, uh-oh. Edibles, man. Edibles ruined me a couple weeks ago. So I was like, before I came, I'm like, no edibles. Please, no edibles. <laughs> that that was me and the mushrooms this year. I'm like, no, you guys aren't going to ruin my good time. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was cool that, you know, it made me wonder too. I'm like, oh, man, you're never supposed to take candy from strangers, but I, dude, we've hung out on the show before. So I'm like, okay, Cortez yeah, is not dude, strange. You got candy and then you got chicken wings. So it's kind of like, well, he's offering a protein. It, it's offering me like nutrition for my day. You know what? It, it, that is something I actually wanted to mention to you. It really was like... <laughs> Dude, that was the perfect like midday snack for me. Like that set the rest of the day off. Like there's, it was, yeah. I had a whiff you of know, it. Like, you, you can't mm, go out right. there on an empty stomach and be your best. I mean, you just no. No. <laughs> it's kind of funny too, because like I, I caught like everybody. I, I was out there playing like 4D Pokemon. <laughs> I, I got everybody, and everybody was like running around working. I don't know. I was just kind of like. Uh, I guess I was really distracting people. Like, have you ever seen that meme? Like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, me? Just hanging around. 
<laughs> so I was getting, like everybody off guard, but like working. So they're trying to be like, oh, like I I gotta go do this. Oh, I got something to put out this fire. I'm just like, and they're like, hey, Cortez. But then all of a sudden, like before their brain can even really process it, they get food and they're like, oh, you know, you 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 don't always realize you're hungry until somebody yeah. reminds you, and it's like, by the way, I'm starving. Yeah, dude, I, I forgot to eat that day. That was the only thing I ate oh, all day. Yeah. I was there I, from I'm open sure to, yeah, open to like the last seven people there. So mm -hmm. just, just so you know, I didn't get a single one of those wings. I didn't even get to taste them. No, bro. <laughs> you missed no, out. Well, I don't know. I, I probably ate from like four or five different restaurants that day, but it's kind of like the sacrifices we make. <laughs> that's good stuff though yeah okay so let's go ahead and get into the second part of the clip this is where chad actually gets to try some of the product yeah. oh yeah what do you think dude? Yeah, yeah. i feel it on my lips i'm like okay i'm not all messy face right now but no dude. you're pretty good you're pretty good thank get, you get, get in there get you a little bit of that sauce chad I want double dip, man. <laughs> you want a side fill? It's like it's in. I mean, let me go with the opposite end. Let me go with my finger end. All right, all right. Like, yes. Oh, nice and messy. Nice and juicy, man. So, so can I ask, do we get the Chad Westport sale of approval on these? Dude, you get like two thumbs up. All right, all right. <laughs> two thumbs and a That's big toe. That's what we've been looking for. And a big toe. Can't forget about the toe now. <laughs> yep. Oh man, I, I do. I do remember like biting into them and just like feeling like I just had stuff all over my face. It was like lip smacking good. I was just like, oh man. Oh, that, that, that was from the overnight marinade. That was from the overnight marinade. Yeah, that was good. It was good. But you yeah, assured me I was good. I spiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anything hanging off there. So yeah, man. I was. That was good. I enjoyed them. And like I said, too, you know, it's like the chicken by itself was great. Yeah. Oh, and by itself, they were regular wings. So people, yeah. if they were like, hey, you know what? I, I, I'm i not down for the edibles. I don't get high. I don't like the way my body reacts to edible. I, I don't want to get high right now. It was a choice. Yeah, I was definitely high by that point already. And <laughs> and I do want to say, you know, that sriracha sauce that you made, the infused spicy sriracha, sriracha sauce. Mango. Dude, that was that was awesome. Like that is kind of perfect for the, the palate too. After like tasting so many different flowers throughout the day, oh, I had I that and it like cleaned my tongue. Lens? Yeah, yeah, it totally cleaned my tongue. It's like took all the, you know, the flower taste away, the herbalness, and I was able to go back to it. I had my boy Chad over here like a sommelier. <laughs> I do my best. I do, dude, it did. It hit me. I was like, dude, that's perfect. And speaking of hitting me, though, probably about, oh, 20, 20, 30 minutes later, I kind of had a little kirk on my experience that day. And I was like, Wow, I think he gave so me another break. For the extracts, that was all my work. I grew the weed from cut from the homie Chicago Buzzbean. It was the orange sherbet runs. Uh, I think nice. that's led by Fonzo. Big shout out. Um, but the thing was, I grew the weed. I did the extraction. When I did the extraction, I used liquid sunflower lethicin. And then going into the infusion, I use powdered sunflower lettuce. And so both of those are carriers. And then the coconut oil that I use for the extraction for the base for the sauce, I used an organic unrefined coconut oil, meaning it's still got all the fats that hasn't been skimmed. So it's really high in MCT. So from those three character or from those three ingredients sorry i'm a little high but from those three ingredients we'll say 
they act as carriers. So that's why it is so much more of a rapid release. That's why it's the more full body high because it's really hitting it home and getting those cannabinoids in your bloodstream. Nice, dude. I mean, it definitely works. That's cool. I've, I've never, yeah, I've never tried that way. Never. That's so cool, man. I love talking with people who enjoy cooking. Like I could like oh, yeah. burn something in a microwave. So I'm not, I'm not the cook right here, but. To, What's to actually how really funny is so with those, um, I actually made them for banner. That's kind of something that like me and him have taught and, you know, through like our little friendship, we built through like, you know, being online and everything and our little side conversations. I know he's really got a love of like, uh, kind of, I don't even know so much the Asian culture, but you know, banners like a foodie. So he actually turned me on to it. Cause there's some places like on the North side that kind of do like, Vietnamese, Korean barbecue, okay. uh, like a street Thai type of thing. So that was kind of like the flavor profile I was trying to play to was like the Korean barbecue street Thai kind of thing. So that's why I went with the um, sriracha honey mango there. Sriracha honey mango. Okay. And, and you know, like I said, what's that? Oh, it, it was lip smacker. Like, you know, I, yeah. I, I I didn't get to try the chicken wings, but I was dipping all kind of, I had like a little bowl off to the side and I'm like scooping them into the ramekins and I'm just getting in there with the chips, with the Tostitos, you know what I'm talking about? So I, I did get some of the sauce by getting the wings. <laughs> it was good, man. Like all around, that was great too. And it, it was kind of funny because I had talked to, you know, other people uh, that day and they're like, I ran into Cortez, he had, gummy worms i ran into cortez he had drinks i had the chicken wings too and like although none of us can figure out what the dosage was we were all like it's chinese arithmetic to me i mean i i don't i don't measure my ph i don't measure my runoff if you start talking about ppfd to me we're, we're not friends anymore <laughs> all right we're not talking about it then <laughs> I, I don't even chase my liquor. Why would I chase my pH? Shout out <laughs> retard. Not in the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Let the microbes do it for you. Oh, I really but, um, get the benefits of the self-regulating rhizosphere. Thank you very much. It was funny that I was uh I was getting interviewed uh by Blue Kiss Garden, uh, sitting there with uh couple of the guys at the bakery and they're like so yeah. what is what, what is what is one of the weirdest things that happened to you at the cup and i went for the chicken because for two days in a row on my colorado trip i have just been standing there and have been handed like meat <laughs> <laughs> i'm like this is so weird <laughs> both times i'm glad it, it happened but... why is it so delicious yeah like i saw cortez and he and he had chicken for me. I'm like, okay, that works. I'm glad you did. Well, we're really trying to see. Hopefully, I can kind of bend somebody's arm over there. Maybe I can get like a vendor spot next year to do like chicken wings, maybe like some sandwiches. Yeah, you know, come on, Scotty. I'll, I'll pay my vendor's fee. Come on, brother. Just cut, cut me in on the concessions a little bit. Like, there you throw me go. a bone here. You know what I'm saying? Get, get the food handler permit and you're good to go. Right, That's right, it. right. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah, see. Don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> That'd be rad. They were good. I think people would like them. <laughs> Hell yeah. But uh, you got any shout outs? You got uh, anything you're working on over there, Chad? Yeah, just, uh, you know, released the, the Westport Posse not too long ago, testing No Joke right now, which is a cross of the uh, Westport Posse and the Kool-Aid Man. That turned okay. out to be a big hit out there in Colorado on this trip. Uh, some people, people were really digging on that one. So a couple more months of testing with uh, the number of testers that are out there, and I hope to get that out by the end of the summer. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I got going on. And then always over on my YouTube channel, uh, you know, Chad Westport YouTube channel. That's where I do all the shows and all the things. And then uh, the Instagram is kind of where I keep people updated to like the new website coming out. Uh, but that's just Chad.Westport on Instagram. So yeah, those are kind of 
the places to find me and what I got going on right now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, but we definitely we definitely got to do something again here soon, Chad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely shouldn't wait till the cup next year, but uh, I'm sure I'll run into you in uh, these internet streets here sooner or later. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, hey, thanks for inviting me over today. And, you know, thanks for it was good to see you at the cup. And then it was cool to get the chicken. But I looked for you afterwards, man, because I would have loved just to sit there and chew your ear off. But you were a busy man. I didn't see you after that. It's like wings and out. Yeah, yeah, I kind of, I kind of was hitting every. Well, I'm like I'm from the city though, so I kind of got like way I move, you know. What I mean? But it was kind of funny though. <laughs> there was a guy that came up to me. Um, I don't know what his name was, but big shout out to him. He was a auto flower guy. He got like excited. He's like, "Hey, is that Cortez?" I'm like, "Yeah, man, it's me. You found me." <laughs> we sit there, we talk, just kind of shot the shit for a couple minutes. But I did have, you know, other stuff going on. But instead of being, like, rude, I still had some of those edibles in my backpack. So we stood there. We talked about Mephesto, all that cool stuff. But then I was able to give them some edibles and then kind of go on about what I had going on. But he messaged me. I forget his name. I'd give him a shout-out if I remembered. But he's like, oh, man, Cortez, those edibles were like clutch for the plane ride. You made my whole trip mm -hmm. back. So I'm like, you know what? That's actually really, really cool. It's actually, like, so cool how, like, everybody in the cannabis community is just, like, reachable, obtainable, like, just regular people. Like, we're, like, your brother, your cousin, the guy down the street, maybe even you. You know? Hell yeah. Well, you know, when it comes to meeting in person, you just got to show up. And people did yeah. show up. And so oh, I'm glad you did. The vibe was so thick there. Uh, I, you know, I couldn't have, I couldn't have like pictured it being better. Oh, most definitely, man. Bird shit. Big shout out. I'm going to let you go here. But uh, until next time. Right on. Peace, everybody. Woo woo! All right, dude. <laughs>